Hello everyone and welcome from DevTechy Interactive. I'm very excited to announce this new video series today on complete iOS development. This course is designed for app developers who already have knowledge of Swift and want to take that knowledge to next level and stitch it all together to build a complete app. At the end of the course, you will not only have a complete app ready to publish on the App Store, but you will also learn how to secure it with authentication, have a convenient login feature available to your users, and a cloud-backed uh, cloud uh, data store to make your app sync data across many different devices. In this series, we will be building a personal journal from start to finish. We will have login and sign up features. So we will keep our journal safe and only the user who has created those entries has will have access to its data. We will see how we can use Firebase authentication along with iOS Keychain to secure login information. But we will also look at how to equip how to equip our app with biometric authentication such as Touch ID or Face ID. We will have Firebase Cloud Storage to basically store our data and have it available across many different devices. And we will give it our own custom designed icon. So if you're excited, let's go ahead and get started. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at what we're going to be building throughout this series. So I have these uh, two simulators open. Uh, uh, we have uh, iPhone XS, uh, which actually represents, uh, which has face ID uh, recognition uh, features. So we're going to be uh, looking at a demo of the app uh, using uh, face ID authentication. Uh, and then I have uh, this iPhone 8 Plus, uh, which has uh, Touch ID um, authentication. So we're going to see how Touch ID uh, changes, how app changes its behavior based on when Touch ID is available. So uh, so let's take a look. Uh, so we're going to first um, uh, start with iPhone XS uh, to see what we're going to basically build. Uh, so if you click on, uh, so when you launch the app, uh, you're going to see this login page. Now, uh, <coughs> excuse me. And uh, if you uh, have, if you're a new user, uh, then you can actually click on sign up, and uh, then you can enter your name. For example, demo four, um, and demo four at demo.com, for example, and uh, password is password. All right. So if I click sign up, it's gonna create an account and now uh, pushes me uh, it has pushed me back into login screen so I can simply type demo at demo.com and password click login to login into my uh, journal and uh, now uh, because I'm logging in for the first time uh, I don't have any of the journal entry so uh, I can click on this plus button to uh, create a new journal. So I'm going to say new journal for today. All right. And we're simply going to save this. And there we have our journal created. Um, and it's already stored uh, inside our Firestore database. Now, if you uh, click on this, you can actually uh, take a look at its uh, detail. And uh, because we are seeing detail, we don't allow uh, modify uh, modifying the journal because like that entry is created. Um, uh, so you can actually you can uh, view it. But if you're ready to add a new journal, you can simply click on plus and click on new journal. new one and another one for example all right so you have um, two journal entries created now once you're done uh, you can simply uh, sign out from here uh, 
there's one more feature uh, that if you didn't notice so this experience that you saw uh, was for users who don't have their uh, touch ID or face ID uh, enabled so if user has disabled uh, functionality for touch ID or face ID then they're gonna see this experience so let's take a look at the experience where they have their face ID or touch ID enrolled so I'm gonna simply select hardware face ID enrolled for this uh, simulator and uh, now I'm gonna log in one more time and click login now I should be presented with this screen where we are asking you, we are telling user that, hey, you have Face ID and uh, we want to keep your journal safe uh, and get you a convenient uh, access to it just by uh, looking at your face so you don't have to type in your username and password every single time. Now user have two choices here. They can either skip this and if they skip it, uh, then uh, every single time when they uh, log in, the screen is going to be uh, presented to them in case they want to change that. Or they can simply click enable and we ask them to uh, validate uh, their selection by uh, scanning their face. So we're gonna trigger face ID and we're gonna say it's matching face authentication. And there we go, our face was matched and we were able to log in successfully. Now, if I, uh, I can, Again, once again, I can create uh, another journal here. For example, and save it. And it's still uh, saving and everything fine. Now if I click sign out, um, you would see this uh, face ID icon here, uh, which is enabled uh, to show that uh, this user has face ID um, functionality available. So when they log in, uh, when they launch the app for the next time, if they click on this face ID, uh, the face ID uh, matching um, uh, dialog, system dialog appears and you can simply say face matching face and they'll log, they'll log into the uh, journal uh, just right then and there without entering their username and password. All right, so this is the experience on uh, iPhone XS. Now let's try it on, on iPhone uh, 8 Plus. Now we're gonna use the same user that we have registered here. Uh, so we can see that our data is actually loaded in the cloud and uh, basically uh, we are uh, getting all the data uh, from the cloud. So we're gonna say demo for at demo.com. Password and we're gonna log in. Once we log in, uh, we're gonna see all the entries that we have made uh, in uh, using iPhone XS have successfully been uh, restored here on this phone as well. All right, uh, now you can create entry from here as well and it will be stored in cloud as well. So iPhone 8S, 8 plus. for example, and we're simply gonna save this. There we go. Now we can simply sign out from here. Uh, and once again, uh, this is the experience when a user does not have their Touch ID enrolled or Touch ID enabled, uh, basically enrolled in their uh, phone. So let's go ahead and enroll Touch ID and uh, go ahead and log in one more time so we get the opportunity to present that dialog box. So we log in and there we go. In this case, uh, this is the same screen, but uh, as you can see, the experience has been altered to match uh, not the face ID, but touch ID. Uh, and here we say that uh, this journal uh, is basically uh, uh, something that can be accessed using your touch ID so you don't have to access enter your username and password and you can simply enable it just by clicking enable and then scan your fingerprint so you're going to say matching touch and there we go and they have entered it so if we sign out one more time 
we have this uh, touch uh, button, touch ID button enabled here. So when user launches this, uh, they're gonna click on it and simply scan their finger and we'll be able to log in into the app. All right, so this is uh, the experience. Uh, uh, this is the app, uh, the complete app that we're gonna create. And we're gonna cover uh, every single aspect of uh, how to create uh, this app. And it'll, uh, by the end of uh, uh, this course, uh, you'll have everything ready to go. And uh, basically, uh, you'll be able to publish this um, right into the App Store. All right, so I hope you're excited. So let's go ahead and join me uh, in this journey to create this complete app and learn iOS from scratch. All right. Thank you.